It's back to school season, so in this video, we'll be taking a look at five essential apps for students on iPad. Jumping right into the video, the first application is called UPDF. This is probably the best all-in-one PDF application for your iPad. With UPDF on the iPad, you can easily read and annotate any PDF. They also have a Mac application that supports AI and OCR. So if I go into the application right now, I can pull up any PDF. So I actually have like PDF textbooks. And if I open up the PDF textbook, I can easily annotate. I can read through all the PDFs and it's really easy to use on the iPad. You can use your Apple Pencil to mark it up as you would wish. And it's just a really easy application to use for any PDFs. Now, as I mentioned, before UPDF is also available on the Mac App Store. So if you're working on a PDF on your iPad and you can upload it to the cloud and then you can just pick up where you left off on your Mac with UPDF on the Mac. But that's not all. They actually bring even more features onto the Mac application. So they have artificial intelligence built into this. So you can write, explain, summarize, and translate PDFs right within this application, saving us a lot of time. And as students, we don't have a lot of time. And finally, it also supports optical character recognition, which is OCR, and it pretty much allows you to convert an image of text into editable characters. So for example, if you pick up a news article and you want to turn it into a PDF document, you can actually do that with UPDF on the Mac. The next application is called Microsoft 365 or Office 365. Now as students, this is probably one of the best applications available. In Office 365, you get the top three applications that you need from Microsoft being Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. I'm not going to go into details about how to use Word or PowerPoint or Excel. You probably already know that, but the best thing about this application is that you can have all of those files in one place instead of having three separate applications. And the main reason I want to include this app in this video is because if you're a student in like college or university, there's a high chance that your school is partnered with Microsoft. So if you have a student email, you can actually use it with this application and you don't have to pay the subscription fee because the school is already paying for it. So might as well take advantage of that. I didn't know this in my first year of studies. I found out on my second year and that's when I started using these apps because it's pretty much free for all students if your school is partnered with Microsoft. The next application is called Sketchbook. And for this application, it's pretty much like Procreate. So if you're aware of Procreate, it pretty much allows you to do a lot of sketch works, like artworks that you can do directly on the iPad. So if you have an iPad and you have an Apple Pencil and you're into arts, this is probably one of the best applications. And the best thing about it is that it's free. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not an artist, so I don't really use a lot of these Sketchbook applications, but I was looking for a free application because I know a lot of people that do have iPads do like to do artwork on their iPads because with the Apple Pencil, it just makes sense. But this app gives you a lot of the features that Procreate has for free, so it is definitely worth checking out. Now, the next application is called Calculator Air. As you may know, the iPad has no dedicated calculator app, and even in iPad OS 17, there is no dedicated calculator app. So the only option is to find a third party one in the App Store, and I would say this is probably the best one because it gives you a lot of features. It does have a paid tier, which gives you the more features, but also as a standard calculator without having to pay for it, it's also solid. With the paid tier, you can actually take pictures of equations and have it solved, and you can also sketch out equations and also have that solved right on your iPad. And finally, the last application for this video is Bing. Now, I don't use Bing for its web searching capabilities. I actually use it for its built-in AI, and I've used this in a lot of courses, and I've got to say, it's helped me out a ton. You can pretty much ask it anything, and it's going to give you some accurate answers. I've been using this for a while now, and I've always uh, went back on Google to just search it up to see if it's actually accurate, but more times than not, it has been pretty accurate. And I've got to say, it saved me a lot of time while I'm studying for some tests or exams, it helped me out a lot. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did find this video useful, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If there's an application that I missed and you feel like it should be included, let me know in the comment section below. But that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.